Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. Ashley's my little helper today. Yep, are we having fun today? Yes. And we are getting all packed up for our trip to Hawaii. You are being a stinker. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through this, you guys. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. I've got Ashley here. She's gonna help us get ready to go on our big trip to Hawaii. So we are very excited to go and we are getting our carry-on bags packed. They're kind of all here behind us. Yeah. So I wanted to show you some of our tips and tricks that we do in our kids' travel bags in order to keep them entertained and fed and with all our snacks so we don't have to buy snacks in the airport and they don't have to bother us as parents along the way to get snacks back and forth. So come along, I'm gonna show you some of our tips and tricks along with some really cool gadgets that we use for our kids on flights and kinda how we pack their bag. So let's go, I'm gonna show you how we do it. All right, so we've got all of our bags packed, minus my oldest daughter. She hasn't gotten her bag ready because she's still using it for school. We got all our bags packed and ready to go for the most part. They might have to add a few things here and there, but I wanted to show you some of my tricks to how I do bags for airplanes especially. All right, in everyone's bag, we have similar things. They all will have a pillow. This is our fun poop emoji pillow. And they will all have a, their purse with their money in it. They will all have these items. They will have their sunglasses, a hand sanitizer. Ashley's is already attached to her bag. They will also have a Kleenex package and a package of wipes. The younger two are going to have some stickers and some coloring. This kit here has colored pencils and coloring books in it. Super helpful for the flight. Then I have another trick. Let me show you. When it comes to all the snacks and all the bags and all the wrappers and all the mess, when it comes to feeding kids on planes, I have a tip that is changed our traveling for the good. Okay, here's my tip. Go to the dollar store and get these little floss holders. This is for like needlepoint thread. Has like a million different compartments. We have their names attached to the boxes so that there's no question about whose is whose. Now, this is the genius part. Fill it with all the snacks. Check it out. This is Abby's, so she has different snacks than the other girls. Everyone is going to have fruit roll-ups. These are fruit strips. Then they're gonna have a breakfast bar or two. And then they all got to choose like a salty snack and a sugar snack. Abby chose some goldfish and some chocolate covered Oreos. The little bites. And I'm very tempted to take one of those right now. She also chose to have yogurt covered raisins in her bucket. The other kids got their choices of a sugar snack. So we've got red fish and gummy fish, as well as some more yogurt covered raisins and goldfish. They also will have the same fruit strips and breakfast bars. But then they also, oh here's Kaylee's. This is her sugar snack. But they'll also have some gum for the airplane so that they can pop their ears and chew on that. But these snack boxes have seriously changed the game. There's no more wrappers. You do need to be careful with them. You just put this on your flip down tray on the airplane and take a couple bites and then snap it shut. And then there's no mess. They don't risk having it dump over, but then they can put their drink on top of it if they need to and it's not in the way. In terms of electronics, most of our flights are going to have movie screens on the seat ahead of us. So we'll be able to watch movies on the plane, but just in case and for airports while we wait, they will have an electronic, whether it's a Kindle or an iPad, or my oldest has an iPhone now. Then my youngest two have these cozy phones. And what it is, is a, an actual headband and the speakers are inside. If you can see that little round speaker, this is where the headphone is inside the headband. So they just slip it over the top of their head and then the strap hooks right into their electronic. And this is like the easiest way for them to travel with electronics. So the earbuds stay in, they can lay their head down and watch. They're the best headphones I've ever seen for little kids. Another thing that I'll do, especially in my younger two daughters' bags, is I'll pack a whole change of outfit, just in case they do have a spill on the plane. So there's actually a pair of underwear, a pair of shorts, and a t-shirt in case that they have a spill. But the shorts are mainly for when we arrive in Hawaii. It will be 11 o'clock in the morning, and it will be super hot when we get there. And they'll want to change right into those, either right before we get off the plane or within the airport, because it will be hot. But we start traveling at night, and so they will be cold. So that's just one more tip, and I put it inside a Ziploc baggie, and it slips right down in the bottom of their bag, out of the way, but then it's ready for them to grab when they want to change.
we've got all our bags packed right down here. I still have a few things to do, but that's how we do our carry-on bags, you guys. So thank you for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, click on the little bells so you can follow us on our travel journey and come to Hawaii in this way through our videos. So let us know if you have any questions. You'll have to go and check out my Instagram if you have any questions or if you want to leave a comment. I'll leave all those links down below so you can come and find me. Our comments are turned off, unfortunately, so come and find me on Instagram. But until then, click on subscribe and on the little bell so you can follow along on our travel journey. All right, you guys, take care. Bye-bye. What? You're goofy. You saw all our bags are packed? Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah, but we're not leaving today. Nope. Soon. Soon.